This is not my first time shooting this video. In fact, the first time I shot it, it took me an entire day of filming to say everything that I wanted to say. Then I spent a day editing it. Then I spent two more days editing it. I could not get it to work. I don't know what happened with my camera or my computer, but the file was just crazy and I could not fix it. So I tossed all the files, I screamed at the wall, and now I'm starting again. But, you know, I got to thinking, this is good because this is exactly the kind of frustration that you feel when you're nighttime training with your toddler or preschooler. It's so frustrating. So if you're super frustrated with nighttime training your toddler or preschooler, this is the video for you because I'm going to share what you can do and I'm also going to give you the inside scoop on what to buy and what to completely avoid. But first, the intro. A little bit of housekeeping. This is not a video about overnight cloth diapering. If you're looking for a video about overnight cloth diapering with your smaller baby, I'll, I'll have that for you next week. And when it's available, I'll put it somewhere up here. But this week, it's about overnight potty training using bedwetting pants. When would you want to use bedwetting pants instead of an overnight cloth diaper? Well, normally it's when kiddo has been potty trained during the day for quite a while and you know, you don't want to give up that momentum because it's going so well. You want to bring that training into the night, but you need something that can work with them. They can pull it down, they can pull it up themselves. But it could also be for just a larger kiddo who your regular overnight cloth diapering solutions is just not working for them anymore and you need that extra absorbency. Some of the products I'm going to talk about in this video can hold a so they're gonna be really great for that situation just an older kiddo or maybe a delayed for whatever reason kiddo These solutions are gonna to be top-notch. Okay, so what are bedding bedwetting pants? Well, what they are not is Training pants. Those are something completely different if you try to purchase a training pant or a training or a learner pant You're probably going to get something like this these do have PUL on the outside, but on the inside, there are just a few layers of, you know, cotton or bamboo or whatever they throw in there. These are not going to hold a full P at all. You also find training underwear in a lot of spaces. Training underwear don't have any PUL in them at all. It's just underwear with a few extra layers inside. Training underwear and training pants are really for daytime and they're really for when you're a little bit farther along in the daytime potty training process because they're really for, you know, oops, I think I, I think I'm starting to go potty, I need to go potty. They're for those types of situations, daytime training just, just before you're switching to underwear. And I'm going to have another video all about training pants and what to look for for those if you do need them in the future. And again, I'll put a link up here when that's available. And if you're looking for that type of video, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you'll get a notification as soon as that's available. Okay, so we're not talking about training pants, we're not talking about training underwear, we're not talking about overnight cloth diapering, what the heck are we talking about? We're talking about overnight learning pants, overnight trainers, or bedwetting pants. All of those terms kind of are put on the same type of style of diapers. You're really, it's really just the marketing of the brand but one of those will be describing what you're looking for. How do you use them? Well, you use them exactly like a good night or I forget the other brand. If you're thinking about going to those, these are just the cloth versions of those. So they allow baby to pull them up, pull them down on their own, but they have all the absorbency you need for a nighttime accident. And they're also good for, you know, long car trips, that type of thing, especially if kiddo is falling asleep. Because generally, if you're using these, your kiddo is having a hard time waking up, and that's why they're, they're, they need this during the night. So for naps and everything, long car rides, stuff like that, you also want to be using these. What can you get? Well, there's actually not a lot of options out there. If you're a cloth diaper maker, think about making another option option because it's definitely an underserved market. I was able to test out the few that I could get my hands on and I'm going to go through them right now. The first was the Mother Ease Bedwetting Pan. The second was the Super Undies Nighttime Undies. These are not the Hero Pants. 
um, the hero pants or for when you're a little bit further along. I'll get into that later. And the third one I tried was the Omaki Nighttime Hero Pants. So just a heads up, I'm going to put links to all of these products in the description below, but I should also warn you that I am going to slam the Super Undies and the Omaki really hard in this video. In fact, because I dislike them so much, the rest of this video is going to kind of be like a review of the Mother East Wed Wedding Pant and what I like about it compared to what I hate about the other two. But I just want you to know that this video is not in any way sponsored by Mother Ease. I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. I just happen to love their product. In fact, I actually reached out to them about a year ago and said, hey guys, I've been using your product for... Oh, by then it had been a good year, year and a half. And anyway, I love your product. You know, would you want to do something with me? Because I can really stand by this. It's fantastic. It saved my life so many times. And they shot me down right away. They were like, I'm sorry. We just can't handle it right now. Our problem is that we can't... Uh, manufacture our products fast enough to meet the demand so we are not looking for any promotion right now. So sorry Mother Ease, I'm gonna kind of promote you anyway just because I really really do love them so much compared to the others that I've tried that I just want to put the word out there that they are far far superior and given how much how expensive they are I think that's really important to put out there. So let's just quickly go through the pros of the Mother Ease that make me put it so far above the other two. The first pro is that the PUL is wrapped all over the outside and it tucks in to the elastic and absorbent inside. So it's full coverage PUL, nothing is sneaking out of there. This is different than the Super Undies that has, uh, it has PUL all the way around, but it has a, like a fleece uh, wrapping around the elastic on the leg and around the elastic at the top that really can wick moisture out if you're not careful. The Omaki also has a waistband that has like a, a non-PUL material and also the legs only have elastic on part of the leg so this was a leak machine from day one. Mother Ease were the easiest for kiddo to pull down and pull back up. Not only were they just easier in general to do that with, but there's one key difference between this and the others that make this so much better. So the lining goes front to back, side to side, and everything is sewn in together. So it's all one piece, it lays flat inside, so when you pull it up, pull it down, nothing moves or shifts or bunches. This is way different than the super undies that comes with a tongue that you have to stuff. I'll get into absorbency in a second, but because it is holds so little, you usually have to stuff more absorbency in there. And it's very, it's so easy to move around, like it's not even fully covered. So as soon as kiddo pulls it down and pulls it back up, it tends to bunch and move and then you hear it. Ma, it's bumpy! Ma, it's bumpy! If I could tell you how many times I heard, ma, it's bumpy! The Omaki, exactly the same. It comes with two bamboo inserts that you have to stuff inside a pocket. They move around super easy. It's a bunching machine. It's a pain in the butt. The other most important thing is absorbency. The Mother Ease, this bad boy, can hold 21 ounces of liquid. That's your big gulp crazy super size me drink. Super undies. Again, this is the nighttime learning pant. There's also a hero pant. The difference between the hero pant and the nighttime learning pant, according to Super Undies, is that the nighttime undies are their solution to replace under jams or good nights, and then the hero pant will be for older kids who are bedwetted. I didn't get that far along into using these because of the bunching, because they didn't hold much, and also because of quality issues, which I'll get to in a second. The nighttime undies that I did try hold between 200 and 360 milliliters. I'm not quite sure why there's a range in there, but I'm guessing it has to do with adding more absorbency. That's 6.76 ounces to 12 ounces. So about half of what the Mother Ease can hold. The Omaki comes with two bamboo, viscose, and cotton inserts. I can only find one, but it does come with two. It also has a small inner panel that's stitched in, 
Um, it's not very thick and it's not, you know, edge to edge. It's very small. I'm going to guess with about, it doesn't say on the website or anywhere, but I'm going to guess that with both the inserts and the Sony panel, you're going to get around 12 to 14 ounces maximum for this guy, which again would be about half of what the Mother Ease will give you right out of the gate. I was boosting both the Super Undies and the Omaki with an Amp Hemp almost immediately because they just were not enough. Speaking of fabrics, the inside of all that Mother Ease absorption is also very key. It is completely made of cotton terry material. It's a natural fiber. What's really key about this is it's not stay dry. So when baby, or sorry, when toddler at this point wets, they're going to feel it immediately. That is really important when nighttime training. You want them to be able to start waking themselves up. That's the whole point. So I love that it's made of this. The Super Undies and the Omaki both have, I'm not sure if it'll focus in here, but they both have a stay dry layer. Why you would want a stay dry layer in a nighttime training pant, I don't understand. So that's another big difference that I really appreciate what Mother Ease did rather than the others. Let's talk about fit for a second. So they have three sizes. The extra small is good for 30 to 40 pounds. The small, which are these, is for 40 to 55 pounds, and the medium is for 55 to 65 pounds. So just to give you a bit of a size comparison here, this is the size medium for 55 to 65 pounds, and this is the size small from 40 to 55 pounds. Um, it doesn't look like a big difference here, but there actually is. I'm not sure if you can see that. You might be able to see it better. Here is a white in the medium and my very, very well-loved, used, and battered white in the size small. Doesn't look like much, but there is actually quite a difference when you get them on. I purchased my first Mother Ease when my daughter was almost nine pounds under the weight, but it still fit her perfectly. Currently, she is about 46 pounds, and she is alternating between the small and the medium perfectly fine. I actually find the medium fits her a little bit better. It's a little bit more roomy and comfortable, even though she's under the weight for that. So definitely size up. I'm actually not gonna even talk about the Omaki sizes right now because from what I can see on most of the websites, and including the website I got this from, it keeps saying that this is discontinued, so I don't know if that's just, um, you know, a distribution issue or if this product is completely discontinued, but I'm having a hard time finding it, and so I'm just kind of leaving it there. The Super Undies, I'm actually not even going to bother going to the details either because of the quality, so let me show you what that looks like. So here is the one size two super undies and here is the second one these are both the same size both purchased within you know probably i think a few weeks of each other um and you can see the difference in size because this one is completely shot this one it should look like this all the way around but it's shot in the back um the legs are you know shot up here this one i was just pulling on the leg and it was crunching so completely shot, just completely done. And when you consider that these were purchased at the same time as this, which is absolutely perfect, still fits well, so much stretch, hard to show you with one hand, but so much stretched. And this one has been used way more than these two, but these ones are completely done. I should also address the quality of the Omaki. The Omaki and uh, elastics are perfectly fine. Um, but because the elastics are only on the bottom half of the legs, I just found that this it was a poor design. So it leaked right out of the gate almost immediately. I barely used it because it was just, it was, it was a disaster. So yeah, poor quality, poor design in that way. Let's talk about the brands just for a second. Mother Ease is uh, a long-standing brand. It's actually one of the oldest cloth diapering brands available. So they have that going for them. You know, they will always answer your emails. They're very, they stand behind their products quite a bit, which I love. The Super Undies, 
When I bought my first, well, when I bought the Super Undies completely, um, they had a special going on where if you, I forget what, exactly what it was, but you had to like send them an email and write a review on their website or something and they would send you a free insert to go in it. So I did the whole thing to the letter, made sure I followed it exactly, sent them the email, didn't hear a word back. I was completely ghosted, it's like I was, didn't exist. So do I stand by a company that can't even answer a customer, customer email? Not so much. The Omaki is a Canadian company, a very Canadian company. Um, so they're a little bit harder to get in the States even when they were completely available. It is a really good brand. Uh, they used to make a dimple diaper that I loved for overnight, but it got discontinued as well. So discontinuing products is not something new for them. Um, good brand, very Canadian, but very scarce, especially if you're in the United States. So finally, let's just talk about price for a second. Now when I talk about price, I also want you to remember that the Mother Ease, you don't need anything else with these. They are one and done, you're fine. With both the Super Undies and the Omaki, you would need extra inserts as you keep going, which of course increases the price. All of these are not cheap. The Mother Ease is, I'll just have to look here, $34.99 USD or $36.95 on their Canadian site. The Omaki, again, not readily available on many websites, but it's listed as $34.95 Canadian on Lagoon Baby, and that's Canadian, so take into account your exchange rate and probably $31, $32 US. The Super Undies is actually the most expensive. It comes in at $39.95 USD on their website. So it's actually a con for all of these that they're all very expensive. Um, price dollar-wise, Mother Ease is kind of the middle of the road between these two, but again, they're the only one that you don't need anything else. So they're that the price is the price so with these guys you're gonna have to spend more money anyway so the one big con that mother ease has that the other ones do not at all is dry time the mother ease take a painfully long time to dry i am talking a long time to dry you're looking at at least two cycles in the dryer or if you're drying inside the house at least a good two days so why does it take so long well it's all that absorbency sewn in together just like an all-in-one as soon as you get a ton of absorbency sewn together you increase your drying time exponentially a good trick to get it to wash more like get more water flow and everything when you're washing and also to decrease the dry time is to flip it inside out like that but then take the the inner layer and kind of flip it like this so that it looks like that that'll help you just dry it a little bit faster I wouldn't even want to try to dry it I'll put in together like that and turned inside out it would take even longer don't do that do the little flippity flip trick and you'll be better off another con to the mother is um, a little bit superficial but it's still a con to me is the fact that they don't come in a lot of prints you get the plain Jane white they have a pretty cute dinosaur print and then a diamonds and unicorns print that's it, that's all, there's no more options. Okay, so there you have it. If you're looking for a bedwetting or overnight solution for potty training, those are, that's what you're looking for and those are some of your options available. I definitely highly, highly recommend the Mother Ease over the Omaki and the Super Undies. These cost a lot of money. Don't throw your money away on products that just aren't gonna cut it. Make sure, you're spending it where it's going to help you and help you for a long time. In fact, most kiddos will be out of potty training pans much quicker than mine. So usually one set of these is probably enough and you don't need many. Just buy enough for your laundry rotation and you can stick them in with, you know, kiddos regular laundry as well if you're not using any diapers or potty training pants during the day. So just remember that. Just you only need as many as you need for a few nights between laundry washes. If your kiddo is taking a longer time like mine is, I just want you to know that you're not alone in this. I know some moms who have, you know, three-year-olds who train during the day and then they're trained at night in like a week. And that's great for them, that's perfect, but it's definitely not the case for many of us. You're doing fine, you're not alone, just keep at it. You'll get there eventually. My daughter is finally, 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 you know, three quarters of the time dry in the morning so you know it's a big victory for us I'm hoping that you know by the end of the year she'll be in out of these guys completely and we'll be moving on with our nights but just know that no matter what happens you're you're doing fine okay so I hope that was helpful
helpful for you. Um, I know it'll be helpful for me to get this video over and done with. I can't wait until it's just up on YouTube. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, just know I'm victorious. So give me a thumbs up and that'd be great. Um, but barring that, I will see you in the next video.